Hello and welcome to this uh, special broadcast from, from the Tribune Network. We are coming to you live from the Tribune Newsroom. Uh, we are discussing the first test match between England and West Indies. In fact, 115 days uh, back, uh, the cricketing activity had come to a standstill. And now, uh, England facing West Indies in a, in a cricket match, which many say is in being held in a very different avatar. You have the PPE kits, you will have the stadium without uh, spectators. And and also lot many regulations uh, which uh, come with it. I'm joined by my sports editor uh, Rohit Mahajan for more on this. Uh, uh, Rohit, uh, welcome to this uh, special broadcast. First, tell us uh, somewhat uh, something about the new guidelines, the COVID guidelines when it comes to playing cricket. Of course, there are new guidelines. Uh, the most important being that the players won't be allowed to apply saliva to the ball. So this will have a deep implication for, for the sport on whether the ball is going to swing or not, or how much it might swing. And then there's one another very important uh, new uh, guideline, which is regarding replacement of players who show symptoms of COVID. So it has been allowed for, for the current season to uh, substitute such players who, have, who show symptoms of COVID. So these are the two most important uh, factors. Another is that, um, Neutral umpires will not be uh, possible for this uh, test match and this series uh, and series in the immediate future because uh, because of restrictions on on flying and traveling. So that is one another huge uh, difference. Uh, so these are the three major differences. Also, uh, Rohit, if I can interrupt you, uh, for the benefit of our viewers, uh, there's not going to be any uh, spectators uh, for these test matches. The, the stadium is going to be completely empty. Now, what happens commercially? I mean, is it viable for the cricketing boards to have empty stadium? Of course, it's viable because uh, the gate money or, or the money received through ticket sales is just a fraction of the right. Just to give you an idea about the money which is actually involved in cricket. Um, now. 3,500 crore rupees in, in rupees and in, in pounds, a, a figure of 380 million pounds would have been lost to English court if the summer season would have been wiped out completely. So to save this, mm -hmm. so they are willing to have matches in empty stadiums because most, probably the viewership will increase and people are thirsting uh, to watch cricket across the world. So. West Indies is going to play test matches, and then of course Pakistan team is also there. So English board is hoping to follow some money. Uh, otherwise, they would happen massive losses to the tune of 3,600 crore rupees. This is what, even in England, which is not really a huge cricketing economy, this sort of money would have been lost in England. So yes, uh, empty stadium still make huge financial sense for all cricket boards. Also, uh, some called uh, a sanitization break. If I uh, to uh, you know, believe that there is going to be some kind of a sanitation break during uh, the, the course of this match. Uh, I, I I didn't I didn't get you. Uh, the, the sanitation uh, sanitization uh, breaks that yeah, they'll take right to the test match. Uh, right through the series. Yes. The ground has been completely sanitized. All the people who are working at the ground will be completely sanitized. Okay, so uh, uh, with also uh, many major uh, tournaments coming up, uh, the World Cup T20 was supposed to come up, the IPL. What happens to those? Will this test perhaps the experimentation which has been uh, brought up by ECB? They are trying to experiment that you know, can still have a cricket match possible with COVID guidelines on. Will this have some kind of impact on those future tournaments? T20 World Cup or for that or IPL? Yeah, so. I think the whole of the world is looking very carefully at these matches just to figure out how to organize matches during the pandemic because it's very clear that this is probably going to last for some time, these conditions. So the world is watching and as for the World Cup, it's, that's going to be more difficult. And Australia has, uh, has already said that it won't be very, it won't be possible to hold the World Cup. So the World Cup is definitely going to be delayed. Uh, postponed to next year. Uh, they, haven't, they haven't made a decision yet. They haven't announced a decision yet. Uh, and with Melbourne again going into lockdown, um, the World Cup is supposed to take place in October, November. It's, it seems very unlikely that it will be organized in that time. As for the IPL, 
the Indian Cricket Board has been looking at a window in October. That window of opportunity will be opened when, when the World Cup is actually postponed officially. So the Indian Cricket Board is hopeful of organizing the IPL at that time. But again, doing that in India is going to be extremely difficult because the number of cases is going to rise. The projections are that over the next few months, the number of uh, COVID cases is going to rise exponentially. So the possibility of organizing the IPL seems fairly bleak in India. Um, and Sri Lanka... So has also at the IPL being moved out of India? Or yeah, that, that, seems, that seems highly... Likely, that's entirely likely, and the possibility and the likelihood is that it will be abbreviated tournament, and because of the travel restrictions, the number of players will be much lesser. So it's going to be the same, but it's very likely that it will be held outside India. Right, Rohit. Uh, thank you so much for those insights, and uh, we'll keep on tracking this uh, first test match being played under these COVID guidelines. We we'll provide you all the updates uh, on this match and also on uh, the sports uh, sporting arena. Uh, you can log on our website, media.com, and also on our social media platforms like Twitter and Facebook. Uh, meanwhile, thanks for watching.